Hey everybody, Edie here. I know it's been a while since I've been on uh, YouTube per se, but um, I've been a little bit on hiatus and I thought I would come back and kick it off with a palette from Ace Beauté, so I'll get into that. Uh, I hope you have had a great summer so far. I know it's been quite hot. Uh, I'm down here in the south and it's been very hot and in my office I've got a pretty view of a lake and everything and it's so deceiving because it looks wonderful outside where you wish you were outside and of course once you walk out there then you're like oh my god my brain is melting <laughs> so um that's what it's been like here I can't wait until fall but being down south would we'll probably start to see a bit more comfortable weather in uh probably october <laughs> so we still have a couple of more months to get through with this hot weather um in august is supposed to be the dog days of summer so uh i don't unless it's switched and it's switched up who knows i don't know maybe with maybe we'll get an early fall in august i don't know but we'll see all right enough of that uh as i mentioned before i got a palette from ace Beauté. They did something cute. I wasn't going to get it, and I didn't get the whole collection, but um, it intrigued me after seeing a few other bit videos about it. I was like, this is really cute and really fun. So it is a palette from a collection that they have called Palette-opoly. Okay, so it's very 90s vibe and everything, and it comes with a few things. Uh, so it looks like a game. It's basically... Although they call it Palladopoly, sort of a play on Monopoly, it's basically a matching game is really what it is. Um, so you get cards that you're seeing here. Uh, in it, you also, in the, in just the, I just got the palette itself. So what it comes with is it comes with um, the cards. Let me get this box open. It's a little hard to open. <clears throat> So the game itself comes with uh, cards. I already opened them up. Matching cards, 24. And two pencils to write down on your pad. Instructions, we'll go through that a little really quickly. It also gives you a little bit about where the placement of everything is. So you've got your crease, which is here in the purple, your lid space, which is just below the crease, inner corner, um, lower lash line and uh, outer corner. So inner corner, outer corner. And you've got some overlap. Shows overlap here between your crease and your lid. So there we go. You also get a little pad and I've already done a matching game and which I've got some b-roll so I'll once uh, I go through this I'll get get I'll show you the process of how I came up with these colors here. And of course, the palette. And if you get the full collection, then it also comes with some brushes, some four brushes, uh, two pair of lashes, magnetic lashes, I should be more specific, magnetic lashes. I haven't tried their magnetic lashes. Um, and then four lippies. Uh, three of the lippies are, um, are uh, liquid lip and one is a gloss and then within that uh, you've got uh, you've got two bright lippies which liquid lips which is a bright red and a bright pink and then you your lip gloss is neutral sort of a neutral shade and you, you have another liquid lip which is also a neutral shade on the lashes, they give you sort of a, what would be sort of a glamorous set and then sort of more pared down um, set. And there's a reason behind that. All right, but here's the palette. Of course, you got the box, which has everything on it. As far as ingredients, the back of the palette itself does not. And it is, we've got here uh, 24 shades mirror of course so here we go we've got some blues some purples some pinks well pinks here oh these are more neutral i'm not sure if that's showing up a bit more on the camera we've got some green yellows here and what color are these oh yeah some pinks sort of deep pink fuchsia kind of neutral here have interesting 90s names and everything so 
we will get started. But the purpose of this is to basically get you out of your comfort zone. Of course, you would choose what, normally you would choose what kind of thing you might go monochromatic, that might go neutral, um, bright. So, but we're all sort of, we understand how things play together. Like you could not necessarily take this pink, this yellow because they might uh, turn brown. So you do have to be careful with these things, but the game doesn't care. It's gonna, it's a goal is to get you out of your comfort zone with that. All right. Let me just sort of read off. There's two sets of instructions with this. You have single player, which of course that's what I'm doing, and um, two or more players. So you can get together with your friends, uh, do a sip and play or something like that. So that's how you can do that. But it's pretty simple. So you line up the cards just like any matching game. And the goal is to get a matching pair. Okay, so a match. And you're matching the pictures. So here we go. And on the card, you've got, it's got a shade, the shade name, and it also has a card value. Um, and so basically when you pull a match, you've got that, then you've got to look at the card value and the one with the, and it's one through four. That's what I've noticed, one through four. And so the higher value is the shade that you will go with. So your first pair that you pull when you go on this little tablet, it has numbered where, like I showed you on the crease, it's numbered um, which part of the eye is first. So the crease shade is the first match that you do. And then the lid is the, no, I'm sorry. The outer corner is the next match that you do. Then the lid space is the next match. And then inner corner is match four. And then match five is your lower lash line. So five matches is what you have to do. And then there's a little tweak. Um, if you um, get a card that has a little trophy on it, then that's the winning shade. So if you have a card like this shows a card value of one and this one's four, you would go with the card value one. And then there's a bit of an exception to that. And that exception is if there is a two on the other card, then, and you have a trophy and there's a two card value on the other card, you'd actually go with the two instead of the trophy. So that's just a little hitch, but pretty simple beyond that. And then after that, you also write down your card values. There we go. And you'll total those up. So if you get the whole collection, and I'll mention the price prices. Um, so I got a 14. It says here, this is where you determine which lash you will use and which lip you will use. So if your card value is 10 or more, then you go for the fuller, longer, the more glamorous lashes. And if your card is less than 10, of course, you go for the shorter, more natural lashes. Same thing with the lips. If your card is, if your card values 10 or more, so I got 14, you go for a bold lip, which although I didn't buy the lippies, I have it, I don't have a, I have a gloss on right now, um, just a lip balm. Then um, you'll go for the, the bright pink or the bright red, which uh, strawberry shortcake or poly is the card, or the lip names there. Or if it's less than 10, you go for the more muted lip as they call it. Um, so you can either use Teddy, the liquid lipstick, or Hologram, the lip gloss, which is a neutral. So, all right. So, um, well, we'll go ahead and get started. But before I do that, um, and I'll, we'll go through the shades that I got. But before I do that, I do want to mention the prices of the collection. So if, uh, it looks like everything is still there. If you get the full PR collection... Um, it is going to be $159.99 US, $159 US dollars. Um, if you get the iPad shadow palette with the game, and it comes with the game, then that is $49.99. And you're not selling the palette by itself, I'm not seeing here. Um, but you can get the lip set, they're not selling them individually. Um, and you can get the eyelashes kit and the brush kit separately so if you get the if you also if you get the um 
lip set, you're just curious, you like the lips or whatever, then it's a set of four, of course, and that's 32 uh, 30 It looks like they've dropped the price down a bit. It was $48.99. And the, oh, I know why it's discounted today, or the, at least this week, because there's, it's supposed to be National Lip Day or something like that. So that's why it's discounted. Um, the Magnetic Lash Kit comes in at $48.99, and the uh, the brush set comes in at um, $36.99. I was going to get this for, and I may, I don't know if it's still up and goes on sale or something. I was going to get this for my nieces, and then um, with the exception of getting an extra eyelash, because everything else they can share, pretty much maybe get some instead of the same brushes get some find some cheaper brushes so they have their own brush brushes but i mean they can share the lippies the eyeshadow it's just powder so it's not going to be too bad um but i wouldn't expect them to share the eyelashes so we'll get some magnetic lashes i don't know but i'm i'm still considering it i think it's cute and they're in their, their teens so i think they might have fun okay all right so let's uh so i like i said we'll uh, i'm going to run the b-roll here As far as my how I did my matches, and um, so we'll do that. All right, so my matches are, uh, and I'll show you the shades. Let's get this all. All right. So my first uh, will be my crease shade will be Queen. So let's find Queen on here. Let me take my glass. I can't read these glasses on what does queen look like where is queen oh, oh. <laughs> it's a shimmer so my crease shade is this it's a pink shimmer we'll do a little bit of a thing we'll do a swatch it's very pretty We'll swatch as we go. My next, my outer corner shade is Fashion. Uh, another pink shimmer, bright pink. It's this shade down here in the corner. There we go. So this is my outer corner, purplish pink. My lid shade is Mullet. That sounds like it should be, yeah. My lid shade should be <laughs> my crease shade. It is this matte right here. Okay. Can barely see it there, but it's a little light, but it would work as a crease shade. Okay. And my fourth shade is, let's just go ahead and.
my inner corner, which is my fourth shade, is going to be Material Girl. Oh, it's another shimmer. I got this is a shimmery look. So, <laughs> okay, all right. It's uh, it's another sort of pink version, sort of like a rosy pink, pretty or bronzy pink. Oh, I'm dropping this. Okay. And then my lower lash line is called VHS. And I did see that somewhere. Ah, it is this sort of, it's got a shift to it, a green gold shift, but it's this shade right here in the corner. So this is a very shimmery look. That's what this look is going to be. So this is a shimmery look. So here we go. So crease, outer corner, lid, one matte shade, inner corner, which this could work as an inner corner for someone my shade, so that, that would work out, and a lower lash line. All right, so let's go ahead and um, it started at least with one eye and then we will I'll go off camera and do the other eye finish the look okay all right let me get my mirror and my brushes together and I'm just using beauty crop as my a beauty crop what is it called stuck on you um, I I primer eye base Okay. All right, so go with Queen as the crease shade. This is a brush that I got from, it's La Russe, and it's uh, the LR117 Angled Shading Brush. So we will go with, what was it, Queen? And it was, I forgot what Queen was. Okay, so where was Queen? Oh, this pink, pink shimmer. I'm, the, this one, since it's my crease shade, I'm not going to spray it because it's a shimmer. But so we're going to kind of treat it like it's a bit light. There we go. And I'll pull it up a little bit. Okay. Let's pull it up a little bit more on the back end here. There we go. And then fashion is my outer corner. I'm going to use a smaller blending brush that I can find. Oh, that doesn't work. So this is a uh, Trace Loose, and it's a B105. And so our outer corner was called Fashion. And I believe, no, that was another shimmer. Ah, the bright pink. Oh, this should work as far as showing up in the outer corner. This one, let's see what it does. Yeah, we'll still treat it like 
it's a uh, treat it like it is a um, a mat. I want it to be a bit darker. Sort of bring it in to bring, sort of deepen the crease. Let's go ahead and Just getting a little bit of fallout with a dry brush on these shimmers, so that's good. I think I'm gonna try my finger. Just want it to be a bit darker. Let me go a little bit higher with the other shade. Blend that out. There we go. How's that? Oh, wait, okay. there we go. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to treat the um, lid shade, which is a matte shade, it is called Mullet. And that was that brown. But we're going to treat that like I would a. Um, a shimmer on the lid and so we're gonna go in up this is a Luxie uh, 2113 they call it eye shading it's got a little bit of fluff but it's pretty flat and make sure it's all cleaned off I gotta clean my brushes at some point <laughs> okay so mullet so we're gonna treat it so we're gonna pat it down and that goes all over the lid so that's what we're gonna do I don't know if it's going to show up. It's a very light look. <laughs> very light. There we go. Go a little bit more into the crease, above the crease. Let's go ahead and uh, blend that outer corner and take the blend that. There we go. Just put a little bit more. Okay, so that's uh, the lid. So before we do the inner corner, well, actually we can go ahead and do the inner corner. We'll do mascara and liner uh, before we do the lower lash line. And I'll also work on the other eye. So uh, be when we come back. Okay, so for the inner corner, it is uh, Material Girl. And that was... What was that? I f oh. No, I did. I was making sure I didn't go into the wrong, wrong shade. Let's see. Let's try the shader. Well, this is technically a concealer, a little tiny concealer brush. Um, and yeah, Luxie 211. But let's try that as the inner corner. Material Girl was that sort of rosy color I'm going to spritz it
kicking it over mullet a bit. So a little more inner eye. This would work great over mullet. Wet that just a little bit more. We'll clean that up. All right, so uh, there, <laughs> there we go. Let me get sort of a, a large blender, blender brush, and sort of just sort of blend it all. We'll clean that up. But not too much fallout other than where I put my finger, which I keep putting my finger on my face and it's got product on it. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera here for a bit and um, do my mascara liner and lower lash liner and also do the other eye. And then we'll uh, look at the, see what we think about the final look. All right. Very Okay, I am back and... Um, on my waterline, I used a purple from ColourPop, and I'll put it down in the uh, description, the actual uh, thing. The mascara, <coughs> I used uh, Stila Huge for my mascara. I'm not going to do lashes um, based on my score, but uh, we will do a bright lip color. I have uh, from Uma, this is a bright dark pink called Cray Cray, so... That'll be a bright lip color. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. And that was <coughs> with VHS, which is, again, this shade right here. So, again, just to sort of repeat. So, on the crease, we went in with Queen. And then on the outer corner, we went in here with uh, Fashion, this bright pink. On the lid space, we went with this matte called Mullet. And on the inner corner, we went in with this sort of a rose gold sort of shade called Material Girl. And of course, we're going to finish off with um, uh, VHS on the lower lash line. And I'm going to sort of wet my brush so we don't get any fallout. It's a bit of a, comes off sort of putty-like. It's a very glittery sort of shade. It's not a pressed glitter or anything. It's just glittery. Mm. Let's try a different brush. I was going in with this sort of um, pencil brush by Luxie. It was 217. But let's see, this is a Triss Loose Bust Brush Beat 123. It's a flat. So again, we'll wet it. It's not really picking up. Hmm. Doing a little bit of something. We'll go back with that dome brush, I think. Or maybe the pencil brush. Where did I put that? It's just not picking up. He does not want to pick up. 
I don't know what to do. Let's see. Let's try what we would normally use, but try to use the tip of a shader brush. Let's see how that, I mean, it left eye pick up, but we don't want it all up down my lid. Okay, it's the best we're gonna get with this. It's okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and finish off with the lip. And should use a liner, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. I think it's fun to do this. It's just, it definitely, the, some things work and some things don't. You know, I think you can do, of course, a shimmer look, all shimmer look, it is difficult. But of course I would use colors that would best match my skin tone, of course. But all in all, not bad. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. <laughs> Um, and if you're interested in this, in this game. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll see you guys again a little bit later. Uh, I've got some new uh, eyeshadow palettes and whatnot and some other things. So we will uh, see what we do uh, in the future. All right. You guys have a great day, a great weekend. All right. Bye now. <laughs>